Hi everyone, in this lecture we will be recreating this UI here where we have a navigation rail widget on the left of the scaffold and if we click here you see that the text in the center of the body is changing depending on the index that we click on. Now to recreate this entire UI let us get started and first let us import material.art and then a stateless widget which we will name my bad our void main inside of which we have a run app method of const my app and then let us recreate this my app in a stateless widget so my app is a stateless widget where we are returning a material app inside of this material app let us first set the debug check mode banner to be false a theme of theme data dot dark and a home of home page now this home page will be a stateful widget because as you can see inside of the UI we have a lo lot of states that need to update and change so hence the stateful widget here now for the stateful widget let us return a scaffold a scaffold because we need a page on which we can initiate the body and work with the row so let us set the body for the scaffold which will have a row inside of it and inside of the row first of all let us call a navigation rail so a navigation rail has three important parameters that you must provide namely the destination the selected index and lastly we have the on, on destination selected so the on destination selected on destination selected will give you a value and we will call the value as index so we, we can get the value from here on whichever index it is that we click and then we can set set state it to update our variable now to have a variable and to keep track of our index let us set an int selected index and set it to zero so I'll just copy the selected index and we can set the selected index here in the selected index paste it and for the on destination selected we can call a set state where we can set our selected index equals to the index that we get as we select the item all right now destinations here needs a list of destination so let us set it here and instead of this destination let us call a list and inside of this destination list we need to set navigation rail destination so let us initiate one navigation rail destination navigation rail destination has an icon and a label which you must provide so i'll provide an icon first so const icon and call it an icon stop home and for the label i'll set a text to be home now this is not enough because inside of the destination you need to provide a minimum of three and a maximum of seven so let us copy it and paste it two more times the minimum one now you see we have the icon and we do not have the label that we have here to bring out the label label let's go to the navigation rail and set the label so label type Level type parameter takes a navigation rail level type. So call it navigation rail level type dot all. I want the level to come for each of them. Also, we have two other properties, namely the leading for which I'll set a circle avatar, and also we have a trailing for which I'll set a circle avatar as well. So the upper one is the leading, the bottom one is the trailing. For the trailing circle avatar, just for the sake of demonstration, I have an image here which I want to set. So let's go to the trailing circle avatar and set a background image to be network image. So network image and set the URL here. Great. Now, what I want is for each of this item. I want the text to be rotated on on the y-axis and I want the icons to go away so what we can do is 
we can set the icons.home to be null. Of course, we need to provide the icon, hence we have the icon widget here, but inside of this icon data, I want it to be null. And if I set all of this to be null, and hence for this one as well, you see now we just have the label. Also, now lastly, I want the labels to be rotated. So let us wrap this navigation rail destination or this text here in a new widget, call it center, and then change the center to be rotated box. Rotated box has a quarter turn argument which you provide, and you can set it to be one, two, three, and four. So you change your quarters by 45 degree increment. I'll set it to be three for a 270 degree. This is what I want. Now I'll just copy this entire navigation rail destination and get rid of the bottom two and paste it. Now we have it the way we want. One more thing, since we can have a maximum of seven widgets here, so let us go, uh, go in and fill it up. We already have three, four, five, six, seven. Save it. We have it here. Now one more thing, I'll get rid of this leading here. So we don't have this leading anymore. And for the trailing circle avatar, I'd like to wrap it with a padding and set the padding to be only. And I want the padding to only work in top. So top, I'll set it to be 40. Let's check. How about 50? Let's set it to 60. Great. Now. Whenever we click into something, I want the index number to be shown inside the body. We can go after inside this row where we have this navigation rail widget, go after it. Since we are in a row, we have the horizontal action going. So after this, we can set a text where we can write selected index and wrap it with a dollar sign and call our selected index. Now if I save it, you see the number of index that we are in is currently showing. Now, whenever we click zero or the first index, it is showing zero because inside a programming language, it, the index always starts from zero. To tackle it, we can wrap this with a third bracket inside the dollar sign and after the selected index, let us just plus, pass plus one. Now it always starts from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more thing, uh, whenever we click on to something, I want only the item that is selected to have an underline. Now to do so, we can come after the navigation rail and set here selected label textile. Selected label textile will take a text style where we have the decoration argument and we can set the text decoration to have an underlined property. So with that, whenever we click onto something, just that item will have the underline. 